<laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K22. Now, we know that there was a massive update on yesterday, and, uh, you know, we, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about all of that good stuff, the official patch notes. Uh, we got some stuff to talk about. You got your boy Power DF chiming in and all that good stuff. Um, my boy... Your boy Baluba, a.k.a. Mike Wong, he, he chiming in on a couple of things. And a big reveal for my guy, Anonymous 2K TV. So if you don't do nothing else, man, make sure you hit that like button because hitting the like button helps us get closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K. We almost there, man. Hey, when we get that, that 100K, man, we're going to start this 2K morning thing. Do you think we should start 2K morning before that? What I'm trying to do with 2K morning is this. It's just I'm gonna hop on early in the morning. We're gonna get a guest here or there. Sometimes it's just gonna be just a little live stream where I'm talking. I'm gonna take y'all calls. Sometimes I have a guest because obviously we're not gonna have a guest every day. And I'm gonna let you guys talk about how you feel about the game, stuff like that, man. I'm gonna should it be 2K nightly. I don't know. Y'all let me know down in the comment section, man. Also got a new jump shot for y'all today. That thing is smooth. We're gonna be dropping that at the end of the day or a new build. Let me know which one where I want. Jump shot or a new build. All that good stuff. And uh, we're going to talk about these 5.8s and 5.9s and, and 6 footers and all that stuff running around the park, man. So like I said, it's going to be a good show today. Uh, without further ado, let's just get right into it. So right off the bat, uh, the NBA 2K guys, they, they just dropped they dropped the patch uh, information. And it just said a new patch is live on PS4 and Xbox One. This is the, obviously this is the current gen patch. Uh, currently, current stability and performance improvements, uh, zoom adjustments to broadcast and more. And uh, obviously we know that there was more. What I was trying to do right here is you see me running around and all that good stuff. I'm trying to run around to see if the ship is docking because you know they said you see some stuff in the in the. Um, in the distance and stuff like that. What I feel like it is, is we're probably gonna get some type of event in the near future or what have you. Uh, historically, like last year on last gen, on uh, next gen, last gen, current gen, whatever y'all wanna call it. When when they had a lot of these uh, massive updates, the park changed. And so I thought the ship was docking. So you see me running around the ship right here. I'm, I'm trying to see, you know, hey, maybe something's there, maybe some not, you know, it is what it is. So we don't see anything as of yet. Uh, so that's that's why we are on that. Also, uh, the patch was 33 gigs, and like I said, with it being 33 gigs, I know that there's gonna be a change of venue with it. Uh, real quick, Power DF said, you know, this is uh, that's on current gen or what have you, right there. And then uh, your boy Power DF also says you can buy boost in current gen from your phone now. And you know, like I said, I, I was interested in that, so I hopped on and you know, I gave that a, I gave that a whirl. And uh, yeah, you can do it. It's, it's actually really convenient and all of that good stuff, man. Uh, so if you haven't done that, give it a try. I am gonna be changing over the current gen today, probably today or tomorrow. I'm gonna be making my build today, probably drop that video. Me and Brute gonna be playing. We're gonna be trying to check this thing out, see how it goes. So we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. Y'all let me know what y'all rocking with right now. Are you rocking with current gen or are you rocking with next gen? I, I'm, I'm rocking with both of them, so you know it is what it is. The boy Mike Wong, he says, uh, you know, Sneak TG says, uh, can, you please, can we please have the My Career camera back for the wreck? Mike says it's patched. Uh, Sin says, uh, can we can, can we get a patch on fake passes uh, after a bump? I mean, after a pump fake or something like that. And, uh, you know, he, he really didn't respond to that. This right here is just me showing y'all that you can buy the boost from your phone. You can just go right into it and uh, buy those boosts or what have you. Um, also, with the patch notes, man, these are actually the official, official patch notes. Sorry about that. I should have brought these up first. But it just says... Uh, Continue stability and performance. Uh, NBA 2K22 patch one. Continue stability and performance improvements and uh, have been made to enhance the overall experience of the game. You now have the ability to obtain skill boost directly from your in-game phone, no matter where you are on the cruise ship, which is good because we want to be able to buy boost anywhere. Uh, perfect release sound effects now have descriptive names to make the uh, make equipping them uh, more simplified process. So instead of 26, you're gonna see that skibbity pat. It's literally gonna say skibbity pat instead of, you know, number 26 or whatever like that. Uh, you got zoom adjustments to the broadcast camera uh, on, on community feedback. So some people wanna be able to zoom in with their broadcast camera, zoom out, address an issue where the, uh, where the user would sometimes appear over the ocean when accepting the invite to the cruise ship. So that's when we was walking on water and stuff like that and slightly increased the ball drop speed in my team. 
So uh, there you go with that. Um, you know, like I said, they don't, they're not giving us a whole lot on these patches. I know a lot of other stuff happened and I know that, uh, I actually know for a fact that, uh, that a couple of things got changed. So, you know, it is what it is. But we, we know that, that, like I said, they, they got some VC methods and all that stuff. Those things have been taken care of. Uh, and then they are out of the game now and all of that good stuff right here. Here we go. We playing a shorter guy right here, man. Like I said, if y'all want me to start dropping these lockdown, let me know what y'all want me to drop today. Do you want the jump shot? Do you want the build video? Or do you want me to drop the lockdown university, uh, uh, video on how to guard the, the small shifty shifty super guards. Also, I want to let y'all know, man, I'm probably not going to be streaming on YouTube anymore. I want to really try to put emphasis on growing my YouTube and my Twitch this year. And I don't know if I can really grow the Twitch if I'm streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So Twitch TV, that slash J Easy. Make sure y'all hit that up down in the comment section, man. Um, you know, that that's down there too. And speaking of Twitch TV slash J Easy, um, we got my boy Anonymous 2K TV. He is said first Twitch streamer with 2,100 wins on uh on on next gen. Biggest sis gang energy. Y'all already see it right there. He has 2,100 wins and 200 losses. So uh that's that's a pretty high win percentage. What's it like 88, something like that? Somebody give me the math down in the comment section. I think it's like 88.2, something like that. Uh but big, big Big shout out to my boy, Assist Gang, man. Let me let me swap over to this, man, because he deserves a full. This is one of the guys, man. I know this guy since 2015. So we played, we played in 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. We played, we played pretty much every 2K uh in the recent in recent history together, man. So I run with him all the time. He allows me to play lock and uh you know and you know shoot shoot the shoot the skin off the ball i'm shooting the cover off the ball and you know what i'm saying and i'm not talking about allows me because he allows me to do it. i'm saying he allows me to be able to concentrate on playing lock because i know he gonna score every time if you're a lock man isn't it so much easier to play this game when you have somebody like brute or anonymous that you know gonna score the ball every single time and you don't have to come up with consecutive 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 like it's easier to get stops when we're not rely, when we're not absolutely counting on you to get a stop every single time, because you know what I'm saying, if your guy can't score, it makes it way harder on you uh, and your team. But fortunately, we score and we get consecutive stops, even on the look, you know, the shorter guys, the six ones and the five nines and the shifty left right guys and all of that. Y'all, let me know how do y'all feel about the pick and rollers, the shifty, you know what I'm saying, the shifty guys, the pick and rollers, the all that good stuff. To be honest with you. When I made my guy, I um I made my guy because I thought people were gonna be making mid-sized people, and that uh you know I thought we were gonna be making mid-sized people, and I, I was gonna have to be able to defend taller guys as well as smaller guys, and all of that good stuff. So obviously I made my guy as fast as I possibly could. Actually, I just wanted 90 acceleration and 92 speed, and then once I go into the uh go into the shop, you know I'm at 96 or whatever like that. But what I wanted to do is make him as, as fast as possible, and then I wanted to make him as versatile as possible as well. And now, the the only part that sucks is I have, uh, you know, I, I feel like there's a couple of things that are missing, and I'm going to remake him, redesign him, and redo all of that. So I'm probably going to be doing that this week or whatever. But I want to have, I wanted to have a little bit more block. I wanted to so I could get chase down artists on silver and, uh, and you know, break that 70 threshold. I wanted to get a little bit more, um, a little bit more rebounding because for some reason man if you don't got 80 rebounding y'all let me know if y'all if you don't have 80 rebounding in this game they're not letting you get rebounds reliably like you could be right down there and all this stuff you're just not getting the rebound and i don't know if it's just me or what but i'm boxing out i'm doing everything i got 77 rebounding and it's just like no but then big mac don't even box out and he gets and he gets rebound after rebound after rebound so it's like i know that 80 got and i asked him what his rebounding is it's over 80 so it's got to be that 80 threshold now when we get the total rebounding down there obviously you know me him brute down there you know we're able to get the rebound but that's just what i noticed about that threshold but like i said man a lot of people feel like the five eight five nine guys ruining the game i really don't feel like that i just feel like it's the left right speed boost man it's like it really makes for to me this is just to me i understand that people are gonna play that way because it's the easiest way to play but it feels like it makes for unintelligent gameplay and like i can we obviously we play good defense on it but it makes the game so much more difficult but i ain't gonna lie it makes it fun to me because when you play a lot 
and you trying to figure out it's like a sparring match like like you gonna go left left like like Quavo says you might go left right left right you know, he might go left left this time and just just completely just boom blow your mind and then he might go left right let I me mean, right right so you know it is what it is but y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man are, are the five eight five nine guys ruining the game how y'all feel about the update shout out to my boy anonymous 2k tv he will be down in the description streaming every day and make sure y'all follow me on twitch if you're gonna follow me on twitch you made it this far spam up the twitch down in the comment section ldu is uh in the building we got the lockdown university stuff coming uh, i got shaq working on something for me uh today so we should be having those shirts uh which one do y'all want first y'all want the, lo the new lockdown university shirt or do y'all want just the i play defense shirt um next y'all let me know what y'all want man and i'm gonna holler to y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Town.